Yeah, that's right. If you drive through Kent at all, you've definitely seen these Kent's new red light cameras. And if it wasn't for these constantly flashing, especially here at the intersection of Central and Smith, then the city would not be able to afford these body cameras. We do want to show you some videos so you know what those cameras look like starting this week. Over 100 Kent police officers are going to be wearing these body cameras. Back in December of last year, Kent police launched a pilot program. Ten officers wore body cameras as part of that pilot, and now funds from the city's new red light cameras will pay for the body cams, which are costing the city more than $1.6 million, and that doesn't even include the extra staffing for the program. Kent's mayor has been a major advocate for body cameras since she took office. It's transparency. Um, I heard from our residents that they um, wanted to see them so they can, you know, see what the police department's doing and, and it also works in the other direction. It, it provides a level of protection and transparency on the officer side as well. The mayor says it's taken so long to get these body cameras because they had to make sure that these were operating well with the systems and technology they already had. They also had to hire three more positions, so they had to hire someone who's going to be manning these cameras, the operations. They had to hire someone else who's going to handle the public disclosure requests, and there's going to be a lot of that. Um, it's a whole process in itself difficult situation there, but they got that figured out and they hired someone who's going to be a prosecutor who's going to be dealing with these body cameras in court. So that's why it's taken this long, but Ken Smear is really happy to see these finally in operation starting this week. I'll send it back to you.